video. Now, if you find your skin dry, if you find that you're seeing wrinkles and fine lines on the skin, if you're looking to just wake your skin up, if you're looking for a healthy looking skin with a fresh glow to the skin, you can achieve that by using some natural remedies. What I'm gonna do for you today, I'm gonna share one of my personal overnight remedy that I use, especially when I'm going out and I want my face to look nice and dewy and healthy in the morning, I apply this at night. This is just a three ingredient moisturizer that you can apply on the skin. It's gonna lock the moisture in the skin. It's gonna keep the skin hydrated, reduce the wrinkles and fine lines, and it's just gonna let you wake up with amazing looking skin. So follow me to my kitchen. I'm gonna share the full detail recipe with you, and I'm also gonna share some tips and how to get the best result from using this on your skin. Before I get in the kitchen, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, now is your time to do so. So look below, you're gonna see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. Also at the side of the word subscribe, there's a little bell icon. If you click on that, you will get a notification as soon as I upload a video. So now let's get in the kitchen and start whipping this up. So you can be on your way to beautiful looking skin. Today we're gonna to be using some cucumber and petroleum jelly. We're gonna make an overnight moisturizer. So here I have the petroleum jelly, and petroleum jelly is a humectant. What it does, it works on the skin by locking the moisture in the skin. It keep water from escaping from the skin, and this is what helps your skin to look hydrated, dewy. This will also help to reduce wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. So what I'm gonna do with the petroleum jelly, I'm gonna be melting it. Before I melt, however, let's move on to prepping our second ingredient, which is the cucumber. So next I'm gonna reach for the cucumber. I'm gonna use a small piece of cucumber, run about a quarter of a small cucumber. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop in small pieces since I'm gonna be blending. Now, if you do not have a blender and you have a grater, you can go ahead and you can grate the cucumber or you can pound on the cucumber and then squeeze the cucumber juice. Now, before I blend the cucumber, I'm gonna add some rose water to the cucumber, about one tablespoon of rose water. Rose water helps to balance the natural pH level of the skin. It is hydrating and it is also great to use as a facial toner. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna blend and I'm gonna blend well. So we're blending cucumber and rose water. Now after blending, I'm gonna be straining since all we're interested in is the juice of the cucumber. So let me just reach for my small bowl, pour this in, and now I'm gonna strain. Now after straining, take a look. Here we have the fresh cucumber and rose water liquid. And this is what we're gonna to use to make our anti-aging hydrating facial cream. So I'm gonna reach for my petroleum jelly, which I already start to soften. And this is about a tablespoon of the petroleum jelly. To further soften the petroleum jelly, I'm gonna place it over some hot water, or you can choose to go ahead and you can melt the petroleum jelly in the microwave or over a double boiler. I'm placing mine over hot water, and while it is melting, you can see how creamy and how soft it has gotten. So before we had the liquid, just keep stirring, just keep stirring keep stirring. We want this to be a very, very soft and very creamy like. You can choose to add a little bit of a aloe vera gel in this. And now I'm gonna reach for my cucumber rose water mixture. And I'm gonna start off with about two teaspoons of the rose water cucumber mixture. And we're gonna slowly blend this in our petroleum jelly while it is still very much warm. So keep mixing and take a look. This is what it's gonna start to look like. Keep mixing and then I'm gonna reach back for some more cucumber mixture, another teaspoon, pour this in and I'm gonna keep mixing. This is gonna blend together. If you have a whisk, you can also speed up the process by whisking and it's gonna be like really, really creamy. You can also choose to put this in the blender and blend to a creamy consistency. 
and take a look look at this as you can clearly see this is now nicely mixed together and believe it or not this is what you're going to use on your skin so now let's remove this from the hot water and i'm going to reach for my storage jar and i'm going to pour this in the storage jar while it is still very much hot once this is done you're going to set this aside to cool and this is going to take about 20 minutes or so to cool and now it is ready to use on the skin do not store this in the refrigerator store this on the countertop this is best used at night on the skin and all you need is a small amount about two to three drops of the mixture and you're going to place it on clean skin it's very hydrating and you are just going to massage it on the skin massages on clean skin and you can choose to use this right after your facial toner after massaging this on the skin for a minute or two then you're going to go sleep with it no need to apply a moisturizer on top of this sleep with this wake up in the morning rinse with cold water and you're on your way to beautiful younger hydrated fresh looking skin if you struggle with dry skin this should be your best friend if you have pigmentation on the skin this should be your best friend if you're looking to reduce wrinkles and fine lines this should be your best friend if you're just looking for younger fresher healthier looking skin with a natural glow this is your best friend go ahead whip it up use it up simple guys just three ingredients Three ingredients on your skin can help to transform your skin, making your skin look fresh, healthy, younger, and free from wrinkles on fine lines.